afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Joseph Pimlot. I'm of the Métis Nation of Alberta. I'm the Vice President for uh, Region 3 and the Justice Minister for the Métis Nation of Alberta. So Woo! it's kind of fitting that I'm here on a, a day like this where we're actually looking for justice from the government. <laughs> Elders, colleagues, friends, and all of you have come to today to support the First Nation Brethren regarding Bill C-45 and the improper methods of the duty to consult by the government regarding the bill. It is disheartening. It is a disheartening day when we have to fight for our own governing body in Canada, for land that we live on, for water to drink that is rightfully ours. I fear for what's going to get taken next. Today is the day that we stand up and say this is not right. We do not accept the injustice that has been thrust upon us by Bill C-45 and the harm it will cause to the Aboriginal people and our way of living. This issue is causing a rippling effect throughout all of Canada. It is spreading over a vast space in a very short time. And with the united effort from all Aboriginal communities, we will be heard and taken seriously. So did you know among the provisions of Bill C-45 are changes to the land management on Aboriginal reserves, as well as changes to those thousands of lakes and streams from federal protection under the law. Yeah. Yeah. So to speak plainly, those waters can become up for grabs to the highest bidder if the opportunity arose. Yeah. So I come to you today as a representative of the Métis Nation of Alberta to stand alongside you brothers and sisters and to show our support to you. It is important that we stand as a unified Aboriginal nation in times such as these. And with the M&A, you have ours. Stand united, stand strong. <laughs>